more ugly elementary school student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to be to become the best student I can be. I'm proud of my school. The vision of Oakview is the vision of Oakview is promote a higher fortune and climb me to inspire our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. I accept the responsibility for my behavior and its results. I determine to be safe, responsible, productive, and respectful. I have high excellence for myself and I reach my full potential. I choose to be great. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of, Amer of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready, get ready for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone, for that Georgia milestone. Come on and ease on down the road with us. The Drama Club is presenting a school play Thursday, March 28th. We cannot wait to show you this play. We've been working hard for months and months and months and we are ready for the grand debut Thursday, March 28th, taking place at Cedar Grove High School. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell the grandparents, tell the aunts and the uncles and everybody involved to meet us at the Cedar Grove High School Auditorium for the school play. Come on, ease on down the road with us. Listen up, Oakview Owls. We have an opportunity for you to be creative. There is an art contest from the Georgia Department of Education. We are asking you to submit a decorated Easter egg for display in the Georgia Department of Education's offices. These decorated plastic eggs can be 3D or 2D artwork. Make sure you submit your artwork by March 25th. Please mail your submission to Geraldine Price, Georgia Department of Education, 2066 Twin Towers East, 205 Jesse Hill Jr. Drive, Southeast Atlanta, Georgia, 30334. Make sure you include your school name, your art teacher's name, and the name of the student who created the egg. Take advantage of this opportunity today. Make sure you submit your decorated egg by March 25th. And welcome to the view. Of view that is, I'm Dementia Murchison and I'm Emery Lloyd. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to day three of our celebration of Black History Month. Yes, Emery. Talk about inventions that made life easier. Let me tell you about Garrett Morgan. In 1923, Garrett Morgan invented a new type of traffic light, one with a warning to let drivers know they wouldn't need to stop. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Morgan, for inventing the three-way traffic light. You've helped people all over the world. Mr. Garrett Morgan also improved the gas mask in 1917 and helped save thousands of lives from the United States into World War I. What an impact! We are already learning so much about the accomplishments about the accomplishments of African Americans. Have you heard about Harriet Tubman? Yes, she was known as a woman called Moses. She was an escaped slave who led hundreds to freedom through the Underground Railroad. She was, she was known as the conductor of the Underground Railroad. And from what I'm told, she didn't take no stuff. Listen to this. Harry Tubman didn't take no stuff. Wasn't scared of nothing either. She didn't come in this world to be no slave and didn't stay one either. Farewell, she sang to her friends what? one night. She was mighty sad to leave them, but she ran away that dark, hot night, ran looking for her freedom. She ran to the woods and ran through the woods with the slave catcher right behind her and kept on going till she got to the north where those mean men couldn't find her. 19 times she went back to the south to get 300 others. 19 times she she ran for her freedom to save black sisters and brothers. Harriet Tubman didn't take no stuff, wasn't scared of nothing either. Didn't come to this world to be no slave and didn't stay one, one either. And she didn't stay one either.
What a brave woman. Not only was she concerned about freedom for herself, but freedom for others. Thank you, Sister Harry Tummy, for paving the way to freedom. Listen, our time is up now, but I can guarantee you, if you tune in to this station at the same time tomorrow, your perception will, you, will be clearer if you join the view. Oh, view that is. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We'll, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.